this is Kirsten Jewell, and today we're going to walk through creating a unit test in Team Edition 2008. This, I have my project, and as always, I'm using the Job Board project. It's a downloadable, um, it's called the Job Site Board. It's a fully functional ASP35 application. It has tons of Ajax, tons of all the new stuff. So I, I walk through this, and I like to use this uh, application for a lot of my demos because it is just it's it's simple and it's a really good application so anyway without any more let's get started this application has a function called job posting which you would expect on a job board so I'm going to open up my job posting file and scroll down today I'm gonna create a unit test around this method right here get posting to do this um, there's a couple ways I could do this. The fastest way to do it is simply to right click in your method and click on create unit tests. Now I already have a test project set up um, called job board unit tests. The first time you do this it will actually prompt you as, to set up a new project um, or you can add it to any of your existing projects. So you can see I actually have three test projects. Unit test, load test, and web test. This is going to be unit test so I'm going to click this one. You can actually again choose to create a new project to add it to. And here it brings up a list of all of the classes and methods in my project. So here you can add if you wanted to create multiple unit tests at the same time. Today I'm just going to create the one. I'm going to create it on this method right here. So I'm going to say OK. Now what it's going to do, it's going to go into the job posting test.cs file that it had already set up because I had a pre-existing test for this class, which is this test right here. Insert test. And it's going to create the stub for me, the get posting test. I would also like to point out that when it creates these test projects, it creates all the framework that you need. It hooks everything up and includes all of your namespaces. It includes um, the the test class with the appropriate method there. It includes um, the test context methods and, and everything you need to do you need to run your test and then it includes a bunch of stops with comments. So today what I'm going to do is let's take a look at this test that it created for me. It it gives it the correct attribute, test method. It gives it a name. I like the name. I'm just going to leave it. And it kind of sets up the test. And it then tells you what you need to do. This is going to be a simple test. And so the first thing I'm going to do is, and I know this because I know my data, I know there's a job posting with an ID of 21. So I'm going to put 21 in there. And I'm going to put in the rest of it, I don't really need a lot of this. Basically, all I need this test to do is create a job posting and then assert that it exists. So I'm going to actually kind of get rid of a lot of this and just kind of start typing. Just put the ID in there. So now I've told it to go create this job posting. And how I'm going to check I can't type today. So basically that's all I'm going to do for this test. Very simple. The one thing I do have to add, this, do, this application does use the HTTP context and when you're running your test in the test framework it doesn't have a context so they tend to fail. Um, here's a workaround that I use. It's just copy and paste this snippet of code into every test that I run. And basically this kind of simulates a context and it allows the test to pass. So there we are. We've created our new posting test. 
I'm going to build my project to make sure that it all is happy. And we have a happy project that makes a happy programmer. So I'm going to flip over to my test view. And we can see now my test view that I have my new test here. We can also go and look at the test window. There are several ways to manage your tasks in Team System. So we can look at the test list editor. And here we have all of our tests. We have I have a list of tests, um, a couple lists here. Sorry, I'm having trouble with my mouse. Couple is here, my CI tests. Um, I have my previous tests and a nightly build. I have that part of it. The test not in a list. This would be my new test because I just created it. So I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to say, well, here you can open the test and view it. You can create a new test list. Here I'm just going to run it. So I'm going to go to here and click Run Selection. And here it will start running my test. You can see the test result window pops up here and my test passed. So it did say a test run error and we have some coverage warnings. That's normal because I didn't really have that set up. So there you go. You can see my created my test, my job posting test, simple test, and we ran it. The last thing we can do is we can add it to the list. So I want to add this to my continuous integration list. So I'm just going to pop it over there. And I, you can see now, when my CI build runs, it will run my new test with it. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this, and I look forward to walking through more TFS things with you. Bye.